Okay, let's get into connectors. Let's use a connector. So as I mentioned before, using file uploads, web forms, those are fine. Those are fine if you need to do it. The issue with those is those are very manual. So if you need to replace something routinely, I would say, let's go use a connector instead. Set it and forget it. I do not want to manually do anything and we are going to use connectors to help us out. So here's what you are going to need. You're going to need the Google sheet that you had a link to because we're going to have to grab the URL for one of those. Okay. So what I'm going to ask you to do is click the cloud icon connectors. And here we're going to type in Google sheets. Now I'm going to show you something when we have different connectors here, you could see, we can say this use recommended. Let me show you a Facebook one. I want to show you this. If you're a marketing person like me, you know that there's paid ads for Facebook and there's organic. Now, if I go here and say Facebook, you might be tempted to just use recommended. However, this is for ads advanced. This means paid ads. What if we don't want paid ads? We want organic traffic. Well, then we have to scroll down to here, Facebook connector. So the reason why I'm bringing this up is because Domo has established different versions of what Facebook is. Are you looking for organic traffic? Are you looking for paid? Just like how there are different connections, APIs, there are different connectors that we can use. So you really have to think about which one are you doing? But for this Facebook one, if you're on SEO or something or content connector is probably the one you want Facebook connector. If you are on paid social, probably Facebook ads advanced is the one you need little nuance, but just want to talk about it. Let's go back to Google sheets. There is this Google Sheets connector, which means let me go pull data. And there's this write back, which means let me go put data into Google Sheets. But we're going to pick on this Google Sheets connector instead. So say use recommended. Now, here, I'm going to pick on my Google Sheets account. If you need to establish that, you're just going to hit add account right here. It's going to ask you to allow authentication, to allow permissions, go through that whole thing, come back here when you are ready to go. If you have everything connected, let's go to it here, where I'm going to show you three ways that we can do this. Now, every connector is very different, but we're going to go through three different methods for this Google sheets one, just to get you used to how to move a little bit. So the first one we have is discovery. Discovery means go look for your file. So I'm going to say, choose a file. And here I can search for different sheets that I have in here. So the one that we're looking for, but it has to be tied to your account. So for instance, if I try to type in marketing data set, well, I happen to have that one because it's shared with me. So I can pick this. You probably don't. So this might not be the best one for you to use, which is fine. We have other ways to do it. And once you do this, Google Sheets is going to ask you what's the correct tab name that you want. Okay. So that's one way to do it. A second way to do it is to search here. What you can do is you could just put in the name, see perform a base search on provided value. So I happen to know the name, which we call marketing data set. That's fine. Now we can go here and it's basically just a filter. We got it easy peasy, but again, maybe you don't have access to that sheet. We got a third way, which is the way that I'm going to ask you to do. Cause I think this is the best method. We're going to Google, going to go to spreadsheet ID now. Now, what I'd like you to do, I'd like you to go back to this Google sheet and you see the URL right here. We have docs.google.com, blah, 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 blah. I'd like you to take this one A M N thing. This is our spreadsheet ID. We're going to take it all the way to the slash before edit. And we're going to copy this. Now you do not need to have this Google sheet stored in your Google drive to do this. You could just take this from any Google sheet you want. I'm going to go back to Domo and I'm just going to paste in that spreadsheet ID. Voila, and we are done. There we go. Sample data is going to ask you which tab you want to pull in. And that's it. I have a tendency to prefer the spreadsheet ID because it's more accurate. You will be surprised, or maybe you're not surprised, that there are usually a lot of sheets out there that are named exactly the same thing. And I don't want to have to search for that. I don't want to pick the wrong one. So having this ID just makes my life easy. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go hit next. Now let's talk about this. This is actually very, very important, especially with the credits that you're going to use. So we have, how often do we want this to update? Now, remember when you're pulling in data, these do burn credits. So you really need to think about, well, 
how often do I want this to run? I can say every day. And here we have two different time zones. We have 10 p.m. UTC, that's British time. And I'm in Chicago, so we have this 4 p.m. CST time. I'm gonna say I want this to run at 6 a.m. CST, okay? And I could say every day if I want to be every day, but do I really need this to run every day? Maybe I need this one. I could say every 15 minutes, every 30 minutes, every hour. I can say, I want this to only run every month or manually. I could do that way. I could also go to this advanced way and I could say, you know what? I want this to run more than once a day, every hour between the hours of, let's do 6 a.m. and let's do 6, let's do 5 p.m. Sure, why not? So I can choose my different hours that I want this to run. And I could say, hey, you know what? I want to run every day. Actually, you know what? I want it to be only the first of the week. Actually, you know what? I want it to be only on these select days. So I have different ways that I can control the cadence of how often I want this to run. Maybe I don't need this run every day. Maybe I just need to run once a month and I want it to be on the first of the month or something like that. Okay. I could choose that. I have all these controls to allow. For now, just to make this easy, we're going to go to basic. You can choose if you want it to run every day. We don't need that. We don't need it to burn some credits for us. So I'm going to say manual. That's it. We just need it to come in once and we are good. I'm going to say next. And here, let's go put in our beautiful naming conventions, organization, colon, domo learning, pipe source, Google Sheets, pipe again, and we're gonna call this sample marketing data. Hit save and run, and there it goes. I'm gonna hit add tag, and here I'm gonna say domo learning, and I already have this written in for a tag, Google Sheets, I'm gonna pick that, and we're done. Again, the tagging and the naming conventions are not necessary. These are very good practices that I'm going to share with you. And I hope you do it, but you definitely don't have to do it. All right, there you go. You used your first connector. Now you have a sense of kind of how the other ones work. Give it a shot. Let's get some more ingredients so we can do some more work.